It is easy for everyone to attract a small desire. But the problem starts when you want to apply the law of attraction to your bigger desire. Then you realize that it doesn't work for you. But why? The answer to this question is um, the inner resistance within you. The inner resistance uh, in the deep of your mind, in your unconscious mind. First, you may have resistance that you don't believe that uh, your desire can happen. For example, you may use the law of attraction to earn 10 euros in a magic way. But when you want to use the law of attraction to earn 10,000 euros, it doesn't work for you. Because um, in the deep of your mind, you believe earning 10,000 euros at once is impossible. So here, your limiting belief uh, is a resistance that doesn't let the law of attraction for, works for you. And the second case is um, you don't believe uh, that you deserve your desire. For example, you have uh, good abilities in your field and you want to use the law of attraction to attract your dream job, but it doesn't work for you because in the deep of your mind, um, you believe that you are not good enough and you don't deserve the, um, a great job. So a reason for such a belief can be that uh, is, a, is a lack of self-love. If you don't love yourself, you don't value yourself. So uh, you think you don't deserve the best, only the other people deserve the best, not you. So in order that the law of attraction works for you um, always and for everything, you should find your inner resistance and solve them. If you don't solve them, they constantly appear in your reality. You can hide them for a short time, but um, they are in your unconscious mind and the unconscious mind works in autopilot mode and dominates your reality. So you should have courage to face all your resistance and solve them. The resistance is the biggest thing that makes you far from experiencing a wonderful life. Most of our problems are related to resistance. Disease comes from resistance. Poverty comes from resistance. Depression comes from resistance. Disease, for example, are formed because there's a resistance in you that doesn't let and that has come, comes to your body. For example, you may want to be, very, be a very successful person in your field or in your business, but whenever you want to work on your business, you get different type of sicknesses that you can't work very good or um, you must stop working. The reason might be that uh, in the deep of your mind you have a fear that if you will be a very successful person, uh, you don't have too much time to uh, spend it with your family or your friends. Uh, you might get this definition uh, for, from your childhood, from your parents or from your TV. Uh, and now, whenever you want to work and you know, to be very successful in your field, and then the unconscious mind has fear and uh, brings for you different type of sicknesses that you can't work. So, also as I mentioned, it's some of your belief is not your own belief. They are formed by your parents, your friends, your family member, or even your teacher at the school. So, um, I had one friend that she always uh, had this belief that she's a stupid. And this caused many different problems in different aspects of her life. And once we talked, we understood that in the depth of her mind, she disagreed with this statement. Then we realized that this belief came from her brother in her childhood. Once she was a child, the brother always told to her that she's a stupid. So you should always, for every belief that you have, you should always find it and see whether they are your own belief or they are belief of the other people that form in you. Also, you should pay attention which belief you should keep and which belief you should get rid of it. Um, for another friend of mine, uh, the resistance of not being healthy was that um, she had this belief that she should be sick to get more love and attention. And uh, the, the reason for such a belief in her unconscious mind was uh, she grew up in a big family with many brothers and sisters and the parents uh, didn't have too much time to pay attention to her. But whenever she was sick, the parents, as well as brothers and sisters, all gave her too much attention and love. So her unconscious mind learned that she should be sick to get more love and attention. Also remember, um, the unconscious mind has this rule to protect you. 
um, maybe in your for example in your conscious mind you want to lose the weight but um, the unconscious mind one that you have um, overweight because whenever something goes wrong in your life you can blame it on your overweight problem there are many examples like this that I can explain um, but um, I hope you can find your own resistance and um, solve it to attract whatever you desire about uh, there are also different ways uh, to um, change the belief of your unconscious mind or solve your resistance uh, in my previous video i show another um, i show one effective way to change the uh, belief of your unconscious mind by a self-hypnosis method if you didn't watch it already i put the link in the description um, i would love it if you also share it with me which uh, about your experience with um, your resistance thanks for watching Please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, like and share my video.